Welcome to the island of Reatia. I'm going to be doing two hikes here. One to see the rare flower that you can see pictured in the behind me on the painting. And then also to see the three waterfalls. So I hope you enjoy the hike. Just driven up the road here in Reatia for the three waterfalls hike. So our group's getting ready to head through the jungle and begin checking out these waterfalls. We are just starting out the hike for the three waterfalls right here. It's a bit overgrown, but the path is clear. Here's an early junction in the trail where you've got to turn right. ground is a bit damp, just slightly muddy in areas. Trees are overgrown. We've crossed the river a few times back and forth, but we're sticking with the trail. We can see where it goes. Should be almost to the first waterfall. Quite dark in here in the afternoon. Not much light shining through with clouds covering the sun up above. The under or over? Right under. Right here, we're at the first waterfall of the three waterfalls hike here on Rea Tia. Truly beautiful, and the waterfalls are supposed to just keep getting better as we keep climbing. We are on our way, steeply uphill to the second waterfall. Whoa, very slippery here. What a beautiful hike so far. Just very slippery.
So I'm hiking through a bamboo forest here. There was a couple vertical rope climbs. So just me and Mel continued the rest of our group. Stop there because it seemed like a good safe spot for everybody. but this is the final one, the tallest, also the most challenging to get to. Very, very pretty. Refreshing to swim in there. Okay, right back where we started at the parking area, just finished the hike of the three waterfalls. Just putting in a safety alert. Very slippery rock, muddy conditions, and some climbs, including with ropes. So. Uh, how many waterfalls you get to, the first, second, or third, all depends on your ability and what you feel is safe for you and your family. Some of our group made it to the second and some made it to the third, but a beautiful hike. I am just leaving the main road and beginning the long climb to the Timahani Plateau here on Rayatia. In my eyes, one of the best hikes in the South Pacific. So I hope you enjoy checking out this hike. I'm starting from the western side of the island and the trail right here actually starts out as a road that does lead to a few houses up here. Huge banana trees still producing fruit. Lots of little purple flowers. That is one cool looking tree in the center there. The way it spreads out like a fan at the top. Very nice views already of a valley there. Another hot humid day in the South Pacific. My shirt already soaking through. This is going to be a tough climb. At least there's a bit of cloud cover today. Pink and white flowers. Starting to see some small and large pine trees along the road. Or trail, if you want to call it that. Right now it's a four wheel drive road. Here's a couple of the smaller pine trees. It's raining. Doing a little bit of rain hiking. Rain hiking generally isn't recommended out here because it makes the trails muddy and slippery. But there was no rain in the forecast today. So I don't think these this little storm will last very long. It's gonna keep going. Been hiking through these wet woodlands for quite a while now. Right now we have a mixture of sunshine and a little bit of rain. Weather seems to be getting better.
the trail skirts some private property and heads through these gates into this area. A little bit of downhill. A lot of dry pine needles on the ground here. Kind of a different, different look through here. Also, it's now a trail. It's no longer a very rough overgrown four wheel drive road. So this is a trail. First break today. The rain has let up. Still some dark clouds in the sky, keeping the temperature down a little bit. Really helps while hiking. <sighs> Continuing steadily uphill here in the woods. Terrain is finally opening up a little bit where I can see more around me. Here is the first stream crossing. dip in the stream there felt good there's a lot more sunshine out now so I'm continuing uphill about to hit some some of our first amazing views and here we go looking across northern Raetia at Taha and we can see the lagoon the reef and the silhouette of Bora Bora in the distance Here's our first view looking to the northeast of Taha and the lagoon there on the right side. At the 1,600 feet elevation point now. Views are great in all directions. It's turned out to be a really beautiful day. Nice, cool breeze. Just took an extended snack break here at this lookout point. Again, looking out at the lagoon, at Bora Bora, at Taha. Also took a few minutes here to film a time lapse of some of the clouds. But now I'm going to keep heading up the trail that way. And I still got a bit more elevation at about 1,750 feet right now. You can see how the trail ahead just kind of winds up the mountain. 
continues off, just veers slightly to the left. Here's a view looking to my right as I'm heading up the trail. A couple of ridge bumps, the valley between us. Passing by a lush green pretty valley right here, looking toward southeastern Taha. Check this out. I can now see the lagoon on the eastern side of Rayatia as I approach a major trail junction. So I've reached the trail junction and there's an interpretive sign here about the Tierra Apatahi which is, of course, one of the world's rarest flowers. It's what I'm doing up here, besides the great views to look for this flower. And the, in, the sign is in, looks like French and Tahitian, so I can't read it. But the Tierra Apatahi, if I'm pronouncing that right, it grows only here on the Timahani Plateau in only a few locations. Today, I've seen six other hikers. Not for almost an hour and a half though. They started earlier and we're heading down. Another nice view, finally looking to the right, which is Western Rayatia, out into the ocean. I've just turned off the main trail. I hear the stream. I'm gonna head down towards it to get some views of the stream. quite slippery falling along the stream on these rocks that are wet but very beautiful and now crossing the stream the trail to the Tierra Apatahi continues on the other side there I'm standing here at the one place where the public is allowed to come view the Tierra Apatahi now it doesn't appear to be in bloom right now. 
When I did come here the first time, which was four and a half years ago, it was the month of January and the flowers were in bloom. So what I'll do is go ahead and show you that on the video right now so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to continue on on the hike. Disappointed the flower wasn't in a bloom, but I'm grateful I, that I have seen it before. Huge waterfall looking over there across the way. What great views. Back on the main trail finally. There's a little bit more to see, so I'm heading up the trail. A little bit more elevation gain. Now this is just gorgeous. Bora Bora out there in the distance. You can see all of Taha. And then of course our newer view there to the right. A little bit more to go. And I've got a brand new view looking to my east at the island of Hiwahini, which I will be visiting later on this trip. Approaching another likely final viewpoint. See the uh, southeastern part of Rayatia. Hike is just about over. Looks like I have one last view looking to the south here at 2,300 feet. Wow. Check out Southern Rayatia. Some jagged island peaks, green and lush. Tremendously beautiful. What a truly dramatic ending to this hike overlooking southern Rayatia. This is the very end of the trail. So now I'm going to backtrack and I'm actually going to head down to the right at the junction and do a full island crossing and come down on the eastern side of Rayatia. This right here is an incredible spot at the end of the trail. There's a small stream that cascades into this deep chasm. And it's actually, I was told that this is a lava tube that leads out to the ocean. Can't really get too close to it, but yeah, what an amazing spot. I am headed back downhill, been hiking for about 20 minutes so far and been enjoying this particular view the whole way. Okay, back at the trail junction, but this time I'm turning right. I've never done this portion of the trail, but this leads me down the east side of the island. So let's see how it is. The trail is considerably more overgrown as I'm starting out. That's a bit concerning. So the trail continues to descend straight ahead and then probably far down, maybe past the pine trees, it will take a right and head down a valley. 
neat little open section through here after doing a bit of bushwhacking. This is a really pretty valley I'm hiking down right here. Enjoying this route so far. There's some really overgrown sections. Slows down progress, which is not good because I've only got a couple hours of daylight left. So I gotta keep pushing. Short distance after the creek crossing, another rope climb. Oh my, this route has been hard. I slipped in the creek back there, took a nasty fall. Fortunately, I didn't get hurt, but wow, I'm, I, so far I don't like this route really. If I ever did this again, I would stick with the main route. But it's opened up a bit now, so I'm hoping it'll stay that way. Oh, this is crazy. Arrived at this awesome viewpoint after another crazy bushwhack. But this will be the valley I descend down. I gotta head a little bit further north and then the trail will turn east and drop into this valley. More bushwhacking. Hey, this is super challenging. I feel like somebody cut these benches into the hillside every once in a while because they knew how hard the route was and the people needed a rest. It helps, definitely. Right after that rest bench, there was this crazy rope down climb on Slippery Rock. Ah, first section that is a bit of a break and quite some time. Now this is nice trail. Yes, I definitely appreciate more open sections of trails like this. Not taking it for granted. Again, just nice terrain. Brings a smile to my face to have a path to walk on. I'm not slipping and sliding and climbing down ropes and falling down. This has been so wide for a long time. I can't one help but wonder if this is maybe an old four wheel drive road that once drove up here. Sure feels like it. And right here is where the trail begins heading east downhill. Really starting to get hopeful that this will continue to be easy the rest of the way.
quite a pretty spot here on the trail. Another real pretty spot. Just past the second of these old metal gate posts about the only sign I've seen of anything uh, in a long time as it's getting dark I found pavement oh I made it back to the road I'm walking down to the main road that circles the island Mission completed. I crossed Rayatia from the west to the east. Wow. That route coming over to the east is hard. And safety alert. Very challenging. Slippery. Vertical sections with ropes. Overgrown. So I don't recommend that route. But other than that, it was a great hike. 